now here's a snapshot of some other stories this past week right here in the San Gabriel Valley. So is, I drank too much and blacked out, so there's no way I could have done it. A valid defense for murder. A retired Los Angeles fire captain with 23 years on the job will give it a try. David Del Toro is on trial for the brutal 2006 murder of Jennifer Teresa Flores. Authorities accused Del Toro of beating and strangling the San Gabriel resident to death and dragging her naked body behind his truck and dumping her in the middle of the street. Although blood was allegedly found in Del Toro's truck and a trail of DNA evidence and tire marks lead back to his home in Eagle Rock. His attorney claims his client was exhausted from working long hours and drank to the point of blacking out, so wouldn't have been able to commit such a crime. They claimed that Del Toro had let the woman stay at his home since she was homeless, but another man came to her, meet her that day and could have been involved in the killing. If convicted, Del Toro would face life in prison without the possibility of parole. Pasadena City Council and school board elections are coming up in, on March 8th. We've given you a look at candidates for City Council at a recent forum, but on Wednesday, February 23rd from 6 to 9 p.m., you'll be able to see more. You can get to know those running for school board as well as in a citywide candidates forum at Cleveland Elementary School at 524 Palisade Street. More details are coming about that. The Pasadena Star News and CCN Crown City News are the media sponsors for the event, with the Star News News editor Frank Girardo and CCN's Tammy Devine serving as moderators. You can get your questions in ahead of time for the candidates by emailing Tammy at crowncitynews.com or frank.girardo at sgvn.com.